What's going on guys? It's your boy Lieutenant Buzz Lightbear and this is my 16th weapon review from Ubisoft's latest release, The Division. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the Marine Super 90 Combat Shotgun, but before I get into the review, here are some basic stats and weapon info for you on the Super 90. The country of origin is Italy. The rate of fire is 150 rounds per minute. The magazine is 7 plus 1 in the chamber. The fire type is semi-auto only. And the reload speed is 5.0 seconds. The Marine Super 90 is a variant of the Benelli M4 Super 90 shotgun designed by Benelli Army Spa of Urbino, Italy. Benelli submitted their design in response to a request from the U.S. military who were evaluating designs for a new 12-gauge semi-automatic combat shotgun. The M4 was the first gas-operated shotgun produced by Benelli and is designed around a totally new function called the Argo system, which stands for Auto-Regulating Gas Operated. The short-stroke design uses two stainless steel self-cleaning pistons located just ahead of the chamber to function opposite the rotating bolt, thereby eliminating the need for the complex mechanisms found on other gas-actuated automatics. The Argo incorporates only four parts, two symmetrical shrouds containing two small steel gas pistons. The first 20,000 units were delivered to the United States Marine Corps in 1999, and after testing, the M4 Super 90 was officially designated the M1014. Our division version is labeled incorrectly, as the Marine Super 90 has a collapsible stock, and what we see in game is actually the civilian version which features a fixed one-piece stock. I found the Super 90, like the M870 Express, to be a hit or miss weapon. There were times I swore I had hit my intended target dead on and no damage would register, and other times I felt I missed badly and the enemy would simply fall to the ground. If there was one word I would use for shotguns in the division, it would be inconsistent. With seven rounds in the tube and one in the chamber, the Super 90 gives you plenty of ammo to stay in combat for an extended fight. A full reload takes a painful five seconds, but this is realistic, so plan your reloads accordingly. The range of the Super 90 is nine meters, so using cover to close the distances between you and enemies is crucial to staying alive. The kick from the 12 gauge buckshot is heavy, but nothing out of control. And as I said in the M870 Express review, there is something badass about rolling with a shotgun. Two faults with the programming I would like to see fixed in a future update are the lack of range and terrible aim assist. Shotguns have an effective range far further than what we are given in game and the lack of rotational speed while aiming down the sights and poor aim assist means we end up aiming behind a faster moving target. I'm going to rate the Marine Super 90 shotgun a 3 out of 5 stars. Shotguns seem to have gotten the snub in the programming department and if you roll full time with one, you are handicapping yourself against more heavily armed opponents. While the Super 90 can drop standard enemies in one shot, there is nothing this shoddy does that an SMG or assault rifle primary can't do better. Perhaps shotguns as a whole will get buffed in the upcoming DLC as they are in need of more range and their aim assist functions need to be overhauled. As always, I would like to hear your thoughts on this weapon and my review. Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. In addition, if you could take the time to rate the video with a thumbs up, it would be greatly appreciated. If you want some more Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer and my weapon reviews in your life, follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash ltbuzzlightbeer. Remember for my channel, likes, comments, subs are loved. This has been your boy Buzz saying peace out.